For years now, Channel 9 has investigated safety rules surrounding tractor trailers. The efforts come as deadly truck crashes continue to rise across the country. Now there's a push for more change, forcing tractor trailers to have automatic emergency brakes. It was this fiery crash. Five Georgia Southern University nursing students killed when a tractor trailer slammed into a car in 2015 that Georgia Congressman Hank Johnson says first inspired him to write legislation requiring auto braking technology on big rig trucks. Um, I could not help but to think it could have been my daughter in that car with those students. Pam Biddle's son, Aaron, a 23-year-old nursing student, was killed in 2017 when a tractor trailer didn't stop at a traffic backup slamming into his car. They had just gotten on the road um, on one exit with the intent to get off the very next exit. This promotional video from truck maker Volvo shows off collision avoidance technology, automatic braking systems designed to keep a safe distance between semis and the vehicles in front of them. 20 automakers have agreed to install similar technology on all new passenger cars by 2022. Johnson's bill would require the same for new commercial trucks. The same should be true with any tractor trailer or any commercial vehicle. Part of the trucking industry um, has already adopted these um, features. It's not difficult and it can save the lives of so many people including the truck drivers. So I just don't understand. Many major companies like UPS are installing auto braking on new trucks, but the industry is against requiring the systems by law. Earlier this year, I invested safety technology that could lessen the devastation of crashes into the side of tractor trailers. They're called side underride guards. Tests show the metal bars could prevent cars from getting smashed underneath the trailer. The U.S. does not require them, but Charlotte is planning to start adding the guards to some trash and dump trucks next year.